Hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening, Hello. teacher. Hello, Ana Yancy. Hello, Claudia. Hello, Ana Maria. Elias, Sarah Elizabeth. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Thank you. You're welcome. How do you feel today? I'm fine. <laughs> oh, Claudia is fine. You're fine, yes. And Ana Yancy, how are you today? ¿Cómo se dice más o menos, teacher? <laughs> no, you can say so-so. I'm so-so. Me pusieron a tercer dosis. La oh, my God. Okay. Que me duele el brazo. Oh, okay. A ver cómo amanecemos mañana. I hope that you are okay tomorrow. <laughs> Espero que mañana amanezca muy bien, que ni se acuerde de la vacuna. Thank you, teacher. Okay, and Ana María López, how are you tonight? Very good, teacher. Thank you. And you? I'm excellent. Thank you. Y Mr. Elías, how are you? Very good. Very good. Okay, and Sara Elizabeth. How do you feel tonight? I am feel um so 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 too. I'm so so okay. Estoy más o menos so so. And Jacqueline, how are you? Hi, teacher. I am fine. I'm happy that everyone is good, right? Yes, Ana Yancy, that her arm hurts. So, no hay que le duele el brazo. And then the rest of the class, everyone is good. That's night. Nice. And how was your day today? How was your day? Did you work a lot? ¿Les tocó trabajar mucho hoy? Yes? Yes, teacher. Ah, yes. Okay. Teacher. Uh, do you have a question? Full, full. Okay. No. It was a very busy day for everyone. For everyone. So let's see, I'm going to change. Okay. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo van con la plataforma? Are you working on the platform exercises? Yes. Section two, ¿quién ya va por la sección número dos? Section number two. Yo, teacher. Yo, teacher. Oh, Jacqueline, Yo Sara. Yo voy a terminar la dos. Ok, perfect. You are in number three, so you can start section number three. No problem. And remember that at the end of the section number three, you are going to find the meter test. Usted va a encontrar el examen de medio curso al final de la sección número 3. So, do you have any question about those exercises, about the platform? No, no problem at all. No hay ningún problema no, con no eso. No question, no problem. No problem, no question. So, excellent then. So, let's see. Tonight, we're going to study the imperative sentences. Do you know what is an imperative sentence? What is an imperative sentence? Do you have an idea? Yeah. Una oración imperativa. ¿Se acuerda cuando su mamá le decía, anda a la tienda, comprar las tortillas, cerrame la puerta? No. Ok, le decía, anda ya, si no toque eso. Y todas esas son oraciones imperativas, pero nos sirven para dar órdenes, ¿verdad? para dar órdenes, instrucciones y también las vamos a utilizar para dar advices, consejos, ¿verdad? consejos. Por ejemplo, si yo tengo un stomach ache, stomach ache, ¿qué podría hacer? ¿Qué le decía a su mamá cuando le daba dolor de estómago cuando estaba pequeño? 
¿No se acuerdan? Y le des... Cochinada, miste. ¿Qué? ¿Yo puse a ver? <risa> eh, le decía, no coma mucho, ¿verdad? Y acostate, ¿verdad? Descansa. ¿O qué le aconseja usted a alguien que le dice, I have a headache? I have a headache. Tengo un dolor de cabeza. Que duerma. Ah, entonces te dice. Te anacetamino pen. Te pill. Bring. Sorry. Sleep. Sleep a lot. Go to sleep. Váyase a dormir. Don't watch television. Le dice, no vea televisión, ¿verdad? Si le duele la cabeza. Don't use your cell phone. No utilice su teléfono. Bueno. No vea el celular. Ah, exacto. No vea su teléfono. Entonces, esas son eh, advices, right? consejos que le estamos dando, sugerencias, advices or suggestions that we are giving to people, que le estamos dando a las personas. Let's start with tonight's topic. And the topic of tonight is giving advices using imperative sentences. So welcome to the class number five. I am sharing with you my screen. Can you please let me know if you can see it, please? Can you see? Yes, okay, excellent. Okay, here is the topic for today. Giving advices, giving advices using imperative sentence. So let's start with this. Uh, but before to go to this topic, we are going to have a brief review of the last class. In the last class, we, is, we learned these two questions. What's the matter and what's wrong? Okay, and what's the matter and what's wrong? We studied these two questions yesterday. What's the matter, what's wrong? So we answer these two questions using the following structure. The first one is subject, better half, plus a noun. And you say, what's the matter? I have a cold. What's the matter? She has a fever. What's wrong? They have the flu. What's the matter? He has a headache. So we need this structure to answer these two questions. What's the matter or what's wrong? Uh, here is the subject, I, the verb have, and a noun, the noun of the illness. I have a cold. She has a fever. They have the flu. He has a headache. Uh, podemos también responder con el verbo feel. ¿Qué significa sentir? Subject, the verb feel, and an adjective. I feel awful. I feel very bad. Me siento muy mal. She feels terrible. Ella se siente terrible. And what's wrong with her? What's wrong with him? He feels better. And what's the matter? I feel stressful. So, vamos a utilizar el sujeto y el verbo have más un nombre. Vamos a utilizar el verbo feel en la siguiente manera. Subject, feel, and an adjective. Y un adjetivo. I feel awful. She feels terrible. He feels better. I feel stressful. ¿Quién se siente de esta manera? Dice, I feel stressful. Me siento estresado. Me teacher. Me oh, teacher. Jacqueline. Me Catherine. Teacher. Okay. Me teacher. También Julián. Ok, Julián, welcome to the class. So, let's continue. Then, we learned this yesterday, right? A volunteer to read these examples. Who wants to practice? Ana. Ok, Ana in the first sentences, and then Julián in the other set of sentences. So, you can start, Ana, please. Ok. I have a cold. She has a fever. They have the flu. He has a headache. 
Excellent. Thanks a lot. Julia, can you bless her? Bless you. I feel awful. She feels terrible. He feels bitter. I feel stressful. Things are not so better, better. He better. feels better. I feel stressful. He feels better. Thank you very much. Excellent. So don't forget about this, right? Later, we are going to have a practice using these two questions. What's the matter? And also what's going on? Uh, let's start with this conversation. Don't work too hard. Don't work too hard. What's the meaning of the sentence? Don't work too hard. No trabajes tan, tanto o tan duro. Okay, excellent. No trabajes tan duro. No trabajes demasiado. Uh, don't work too hard. So let's see. Hello, Miss West. How are you today? Not so good. So what's going on exactly? I'm exhausted. Mm, why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. A few minutes later, I'm going to give you some pills. Stay one pill every night after dinner. Okay, and don't drink coffee, tea or soda. Anything else? Yes, don't work too hard. All right, thanks, Dr. John. So what happened with her? What's the matter with her? She's exhausted. She is exhausted, right? She's exhausted and she's tired. And also she can't sleep at night. Then let's see. Um, ¿Qué le recomienda la doctora? Miss Dr. John, sorry, Dr. John. Que se tome una pastilla después de la cena. Thank you. Que no tome you. café, ni té, ni café, té o sol. Que no tome okay. café, tome. Que no tome café. Que no tome café, té o soda. So it says take one pill every night after dinner. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. And also she recommend don't work too hard. Don't work too hard. No trabaje demasiado. Ya ven que es malo trabajar demasiado, se enferma uno. <laughs> ¿Qué diría su jefe si le dice eso? <laughs> Vamos a el trabajo es sagrado, no hay que tocarlo. <risa> Oigan, el trabajo es sagrado, no hay que tocarlo, Julián. Va a sonar la trompeta del chapal. Ah, ok. Bueno, si usted es jefe, ¿verdad? Eh, don't work too hard. Deje que descansen un poquito, su empleado. <risa> so let's see, how are you today? Not so good, no muy bien. What's going on exactly? I'm exhausted. Then let's see. Eh, imperative sentences. Aquí hay algunos ejemplos de oraciones imperativas. Like, for example, the title of the conversation, don't work too hard. Eh, it's a recommendation, right? Using an imperative sentence. No trabaje demasiado. Don't work too hard. Eh, another recommendation is stay one pill every night after dinner. So it's an advice, a suggestion. Eh, take one pill every night after dinner. And let's see the other one. Don't drink coffee, tea or soda. ¿Qué sentiría si le dice el doctor? Don't drink coffee or soda. Don't drink soda. ¿Sufriría o no? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. No, teacher. Oh, Catherine, you don't like coffee? No. Oh, you don't like coffee. Hey, what about soda? Do you like soda? Mm, más o menos. Más o menos, okay. So don't drink coffee, tea or soda. So I need to volunteer to practice this small conversation. Who wants to practice tonight? Me, Elias. Thank you, Elias. Elias and... Bueno, Elias and Yvonne, and then we're going to have a Sobeida in. Bueno, 
Let's start with Elias and Yvonne, please. Hello, Mr. West. How are you today? No, no, too good. So, what's wrong exactly? I am exhausted. Mm, why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. A few minutes later. Uh, a few minutes later. I am going to give you some pills. Take on pills every every night after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. And anything else? Just don't work too hard. All right, thanks, Dr. John. Thank you very much. You did an excellent job. So just in this word, tired, tired. Tired. And also, let's see, every. Every, what is that word? Uh, take one pill every night after dinner. Every night after dinner. Excellent. So now, Soveida and any other volunteer to practice? Me, uh, Let's see, Ana Yancy, please. Okay. So, Veda and Anayansi, you can start, Anayansi. Hello, Mr. West. How are you today? Not so good. So, so what's wrong exactly? I am exhausted. Where are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep all night. Okay, let's take a look at you. I am going to I have know. your side pill. Take on pills every night after dinner. Okay. I don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes, don't work too hard. All right, thanks, Dr. Jones. Thank you very much. So thank you, Elias. Thank you, Juan. Thank you, Sumeida. And thank you, Ana Yancy. You did an excellent job in this conversation. Uh, is it a new work in this small conversation, a word that you don't know? No new vocabulary here. If no, let's continue then. If you don't have any question, let's go with this imperative. So look at this, uh, imperative sentence examples. There are two types of imperative sentences. There is a positive and also a negative. And the positive imperative sentences start with a verb. They are going to start with a verb. Uh, they appeal every four hours. Tome una pastilla cada cuatro horas. And this is the verb. Rest in bed. Descanse ¿verdad? en cama. And drink lots of juice. Tome mucho jugo. Drinks lots of juice. So in this type of sentences, they are positive. They start with the verb. Comienzan con el verbo. In the negative sentences, we are going to start with don't. Don't work too hard. Don't stay up late. Don't drink soda. So don't work too hard. Don't stay up late. Don't drink soda. So y las oraciones positivas es aquello que las personas pueden ¿verdad? o deben hacer. Y en las negativas es algo que no deben hacer. So don't work too hard, for example. No trabaje demasiado. Don't stay up late. No esté despierto hasta tarde. Don't drink soda. No tome soda. Y let's see these other examples. Drink lots of water. Es algo que deberíamos hacer. ¿verdad? It's an advice. Drink lots of water. Tome mucha agua. Eat vegetables. 
it's based on coma vegetales. If you have a headache, take an aspirin. Take an aspirin. So, deberíamos hacer esto. ¿Qué no deberíamos hacer? Utilizamos don't. Don't eat too much. Don't stress. Don't drink soda. No coma demasiado. No se estrese y no tome mucha soda. So, this is the structure we are going to need. The bird plus a complement for positive imperative sentences. Don't plus the verb plus the complement for a negative imperative sentence. Do you have any question? No, no teacher. Oh, is it easy? You say for yes, it is. Yes. Ah, okay. <laughs> So, let's see, este tipo de oraciones no tiene un sujeto. El se, se sobreentiende que el sujeto es you. O sea, tú, ¿verdad? Tú, te appeal every four hours. Tú, rest in bed. Usted, ¿verdad? Descansa en cama. Usted, drink lots of juice. So, we don't need a subject in imperative sentences. E incluso un solo verbo puede ser una oración imperativa. A ver, si yo le digo study. Study, ya es una recomendación, estudie, estudie, study, eh, eat, coma, run, corra, stop, deténgase. Entonces, un verbo puede ser una oración imperativa. So, let's see some other examples. Uh, using imperative for giving advice. So look at this small conversation. I have a headache. Take some aspirin. Rest a lot. Don't use your cell phone or computer and don't watch television. So look at these advices. Take some aspirin. Rest a lot. Don't use your cell phone or computer and don't watch television. If you have a headache, si tiene un dolor de cabeza, Haga estas cosas y no haga las siguientes dos cosas. Don't use your cell phone y, or computer and don't watch television. Let's see the next small conversation. I have diarrhea. ¿Quién le recomendaría a alguien que tenga esa enfermedad? I have diarrhea. Take pectobismol. Ok, excelente. So, take pectobismol. Take pectobismol. Drink a water. There oh. are. There are. Are you telling? <laughs> Can you please repeat? No lactose. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. So let's see. You can say drink a lot of water. Stay at home. Don't go to work. Don't go to school. Uh, what more is stay in bed? So stay at home is when drink lots of liquids, tome muchos líquidos and don't eat too, don't eat too much. No coma. Demasiado. What is the meaning? No coma demasiado. Okay, let's see. Let's see the other one. I have a cough. ¿Qué recomendaciones le diría a alguien que tenga esa enfermedad? I have a cold. Yo tengo una tos. So, what are your advices? I drink bebidas calientes. Ah, ok. Drink hot. Uh, drinks, drink hot drinks, y tome bebidas calientes, y take cough syrup, cough syrup, and here are some advices. Don't, don't drink uh, ice cream. Okay, don't eat ice cream, excellent. Uh, take cold syrup, don't drink cold drinks, and don't eat ice cream. So, no tome bebidas frías y no coma sorbet. 
So look at these examples. Uh, when people is sick, we can give them some advices. ¿Qué deben hacer para tratar esa enfermedad? So headache, they an aspirin. Rest a lot. Es algo que deben hacer. ¿Qué no hacer? Don't use your cell phone or computer and don't watch television. If oh. you have a diarrhea, stay at home. Bring lots of liquids. Y esto debemos hacer. ¿Qué no debemos hacer? Don't eat too much. I have a cough. Tengo una tos. Take cough syrup. Don't drink cold drinks and don't eat ice cream. To volunteer to practice the small, this small conversation, please. Who wants to practice? Yeah, Marín. teacher. Thank you, Sara. Me, teacher. Okay, in the first round, we are going to have Sara and Elena. And in the second one, Cynthia. Cynthia and any other volunteer? Me, teacher. Maria Luz. Thank you. So, las tres conversaciones, please, Sara and Elena. You can start, Sara, please. I have a headache. Uh, take some aspirin, rest a lot, don't use cell phone or computer, and don't watch television. Stay on conversation. Stay at home, drink lots of liquids. Don't eat too much. Have a cold. They take up syrup, don't drink, cold drink, and don't eat ice cream. Thank you, you did an excellent job. No problem with pronunciation. Thank you very much. So let's listen Cynthia and Maria Luz. You can start, Maria, please. I have a headache. Take some aspirin, press a lot. Don't use your cell phone or computer and don't watch television. I have diarrhea. Take a home, green lots of liquids. Don't eat too much. I have a goat. Goat. Take cold syrup. Don't drink cold greens and don't eat ice cream. Thank you. Almost perfect. Thank you very much. You did an excellent job. So headache. I have a headache. Headache. And diarrhea. I have diarrhea. And cough syrup. Cough syrup. So thank you very much. Let's see the next thing yeah. here. You may imperative sentences with the following birds. So do you know the meaning of this bird? It, for example, what is the meaning of it? Comer. Comer. Okay. ¿Cuál de estos verbos es fumar? Smoke. Smoke. Smoke, muy bien. ¿Cuál de estos verbos es escuchar? Listen. 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 Okay, which of this verb means trabajar? Listen. Work. 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 Uh, dormir. Sleep. 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 Caminar. Walk. 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 Y lavar. Walk. Wash. 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 Eh, ir go 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 go, 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 relajarse, relax, relax. Eh, estresarse, okay, excellent. So let's see, we're going to make some imperative sentences using these birds. So let's start with it. Eh, well, I have all of them here. The first one is don't eat fast food. Don't eat fast food. Don't go to sleep too late. Well, 30 minutes. Don't stress too much. Go for a run. Don't smoke. Listen to your doctor. Wash your hands. Relax. And don't work too hard. 
So don't eat fast food. ¿Le costaría seguir esta recomendación? Don't eat fast food. Do you know the meaning of fast food? Yes. 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 Okay, here is pizza, pupusas, pastelitos, yuca, fry yuca, french fries, hamburgers, eh, <laughs> ice cream, chocolate cake, candies. <laughs> yes, right. So don't eat Delicious. fast food. Don't eat fast food. Yes, it's really difficult to follow up this advice, right? Because uh, almost every fast food is delicious. Uh, don't go to sleep too late. Y no se vaya a dormir demasiado tarde. What time do you go to bed? ¿A qué hora se van a dormir? 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. 10 Eleven o'clock. Eleven. Ok. Todos los días reciben el siguiente día a las doce. Twelve. <laughs> A.M. So don't go to sleep too late. Right? Uh, well, 30 minutes. Well, 30 minutes. Caminar no, 30 minutos. Ok. Is it difficult to walk 30 minutes? Yes. No. 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 Don't stress too much. Don't stress too much. Mm. No impossible. Too much. Ah, it's kind of impossible. Very difficult. Ah, okay. And go for a run. Go for a run. And ir a correr. Salir a correr. No, it's a man. Para agarrar al bus. No. <risa> ah, yeah, it, it's different, Ray. Right? Cuando el bus nos está dejando, sale. Don't for a rain. Don't smoke. Don't smoke. It is not healthy, Ray. Right? Smoke. So don't smoke. It's an advice. It's an advice. Listen to your doctor. Always listen to your doctor. Okay. El, yes. Y el ejemplo de de drink. The drink, drink. Ah, okay, that is missing. Can you help me with this drink? Let's see, for example. Ah, okay, now in English. How do you say that sentence in English? <laughs> drink a lot of water. Okay, excellent. Drinks lots of water or drink a glasses of water daily. <clears throat> Uh, do you drink water? Yes. Toman agua? Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes. yes. Ah, okay, so it's healthy. So drink lots of water. Uh, wash your hands. This is important to right? wash your hands. Relax. This is important to relax. And don't work too hard. Si puede hacerlo, don't work too hard. No trabaje mucho. Bien. No vayan a decir, el teacher nos dijo que no trabajáramos. <laughs> <laughs> Don't work too hard. Let's go with this. Uh, let's see. I'm going to show you some. Look at this. I'm going to choose someone. Let's see, Ana María López, which number do you want? ¿Qué número quiere? It's from 1 to 16. Seven. Seven, okay, you are giving me one advice for the following illness. Let's see, stomach A. Can you give me an advice using imperative sentences for a stomach A? Stomach ache. Sí, todo está. Yo creo que es. Sí, sí. Vaya, don't eat a lot of food. Ok, don't eat a lot of food. Ah, es al revés. Ok, don't eat a lot of Okay. Don't eat too much. Don't eat too much. Don't eat too much. Excellent. Anyone have another advice for an stomach ache? No, 
Y nadie tiene otro consejo utilizando oraciones Mama, imperativas para estomar. Nobody. Don't, don't eat the food. Don't eat the food. Oh, don't eat spicy food. Don't eat spicy food. Comida condimentada o picante. Spicy food. Don't eat spicy food. Thank you. Any other one? Don't eat fast food. Take, take a medicine. Okay. Don't eat fast food. Take some medicine. Okay. Excellent. Let's take choose another one. They appeal, right? They appeal. Okay. Uh, Claudia, which number do you want, Claudia? Uh, number nine. Number nine. Let's see what is under number nine. Sore throat. Sore throat. Sore throat. Take a pill. Take a pill. Don't drink things. Cosas heladas. Cold, cold drinks. Don't cold drink, drink cold drinks. Uh -huh. um, don't drink, no, don't eat ice cream. Excellent, don't eat ice cream. If you have a sore throat, Don't drink cold drinks. Don't eat ice cream and take some medicine like cough syrup. Very good. Thank you. Let's see. Julian, which number do you want, Julian, tonight? Just one. Uh, two. Number two. Let's see what is number two. Toothache. 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 Um, don't. Don't ice cream. Don't eat don't, ice cream. Excellent. Don't eat ice cream. Ice cream. Uh, sí. Don't don't call drink. Don't say don't. Don't don't, call, don't drink, drink cold drinks. Don't call drinks. No, vamos a decir. Eh, no. Don't drink cold drinks. Don't drink drinks cold drinks. Cold drinks. No tomar bebida fría. Yes. Algo. Okay, thank you, Julian. Excellent, excellent job. So let's see, Miriam, which number do you want? Hello, Miriam, which number do you want? Five. Number five. Okay, let's see what is number five. Another five. So diarrhea. Don't eat too much. Excellent. Don't eat too much. Thank you. Any other advice for a diarrhea? Don't drink water. Water. Drink a lot of water. Thank you. So let's see, Yvonne, can you please choose a number, please? Number four. So name number four, so Cove. For a Cove. ¿Qué es eso, teacher? Dos. Oh. Okay, don't eat ice cream. Don't eat ice cream. Perfect. Thank you. So, Cynthia, can you please choose a number? Number one. Number one. And number one had cold. Un resfriado for a cold. Cold. See a doctor. Oh, see a doctor. Excellent. That is the best advice. Go to, doc to the doctor, right? Go to the doctor. And let me see. Carla Vanessa, can you please choose a number? Um, number 10. 
rush. Uh, you take a, no sé cómo se dice, antialérgico. Antialérgic. Esto. Eh, bueno, no rascarse, pero igual no sé cómo se dice. Una loratanina, baby. Take Ajá, and no la termina. Okay. <laughs> rush. For a rice. And don't touch. Excellent. Don't touch. Ah, okay. No se toque. Rice es una alergia, ¿verdad? Una picazón. Alergia. Ajá. Alergia. So don't touch it. No se lo toque. Okay. Don't... Excellent. Thank you. Balmore, can you please choose a number? Eleven. Eleven. Let's see what is under number eleven. And we have stress. <laughs> Uh, don't work much. Okay, excellent. Don't work too hard. Don't work too hard. No, no trabaje okay. demasiado. Thank you. Uh, let's see the next one. Glenda, can you please choose a number? And then Victoria. Twelve. Twelve. Tiredness. Tiredness. Cansancio. Rest in bed. Rest in bed. Excellent. Rest in bed. Victoria, can you choose a number, please? Pick one. Um, number 16. Number 16. What is in the number 16? Flu. The flu. Uh, take some medicine. Excellent. Take some medicine. Yes. Thank you. And let's see. Catherine, can you choose one number, please? 15. 15. A uh, fever. Um, take two acetaminophen. Excellent. Two acetaminophen, really? Two? Uh, take two acetaminophen? Yes. <laughs> Para un alivio rápido, es muy rápido. Day two, acetaminophen. <laughs> okay, thank you. Let's see now. Brenda, can you please choose a number, please? Tell me, which number do you want, Brenda? Eight. Number eight. What is under number eight? Sore eyes. Eyes. Sore uh, eyes. Eight. 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 Drops, como se, no me acuerdo cómo se dice. Drop. Put, drops, ice. Ah, drops put, ice. put, drops, ice. Excelente, drop, ice, thank you. Elena, can you please choose a number? Fourteen. Uh, Fourteen, let's see what is under number 14. Broken arm. And dolor de brazo. Um, I take... Eh, um, no sé cómo decir un relajante muscular un metocarbamol um, muscle cream o rina metocarbamol but this is broken arm it's like brazo un brazo eh, roto ah un brazo roto ah es que yo ayer lo escribí con dolor de brazo ok, oh, okay. aquí lo tengo entonces sería eh, para el dolor eh, eh, algo fuerte <ríe> eh, no sé bueno. emergency ok, en this case yes. go to the doctor, right? go to the hospital go to the hospital ¿cómo se diría, teacher? Uh, where a cast 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 c-a-s-t, cast, where a cast Eh, any other? Let's see what is under number six. Headache. A volunteer, tell me an advice for headache. Take some pills. 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 Take Go to the hospital too, right? Don't move and go to the hospital. And the number three is a backache. Backache. Massage. 
Take my message. Take a message. Muy bien. Take a message. So, thank you. Then let's go with this. 10 simple ways to improve your health. Y simple ways. 10 simple ways to improve your health. Cinco maneras simples para mejorar su... What is health? What is health? Salud. 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 Okay, excellent. So 10 simple ways to improve your health. So number one, who wants to read number one? <laughs> Eat breakfast. Excellent. Breakfast gives to a energy for the morning. Okay, excellent. Eat breakfast every day. Eat your breakfast. Breakfast gives you energy for the morning. The second one. Who wants to read the second one? Anna. Thank you, Anna. Go for a walk. Walking is good. Exercise and Exercise is necessary for good health. Thank you. So go for a walk. Right? Exercise is necessary for a good health. Thank you, Anna. Excellent job. Let's see number three. Who wants to read number three? Me, teacher. Thank you, Cynthia. You can start, please, Cynthia. Plus your, plus your teeth. Don't use brush them. Lotion keeps your gums healthy. Healthy. Thank you, Cynthia. It's an job. So plus your teeth. That is, use hilo dental. Is use hilo dental. Don't just brush them. No solo lo cepille. Flossing keep your gums healthy. Utilizando hilo dental, mantiene sus encías saludables, healthy. Very good. And number four. Any volunteer to read number four, please? Me, teacher. Thank you, Elena. And number five, Ana Yancy. Elena, and number four. Okay. Drink a cup water every day. Water help your body in, in many ways. Thank you. How many... Cups of water do we need every day? Eight. Yeah. At least eight. eight. At least eight. eight. Thank you. Ana Yancy, number five, please. And three for five minutes. And stretching is important for your muscles. Excellent. A stretch for five minutes. You just need five minutes for stretching. And it is important for your muscles. It's important for your muscles. So, number six. Me, teacher. Thank you, Sobeida. Me, teacher. Maria Luz in number seven. Sobeida in number six, please. Okay. We're a seal bit. Every year, seed builds a thousand of light. Thank you very much. So seat belt, it is important, right? If you drive a car or you um, are traveling by car, always uh, wear a seat belt. No solo por la multa, pero sino por su seguridad. Use the seat belt. Utilicen el cinturón de seguridad. And it says every year seat belt say thousand of life. And number seven. Maria Luz, number seven. Though sometimes to check your brain, for example. A crossword puzzle. Yes. Or read a new book. Thank you. I couldn't hear you very Don't well. Try to help your brain. For example, do a crossword, push it, or read, or read a new book. New Excellent. Book. Excellent. Thank you, Marianne. So, 
Do something to challenge your brain. Haga algo que desafíe su cerebro, a su Creo mente. Creo que tengo problemas de señal, teacher. Yes, we can listen that. Se le oye un poquito cortado. So don't worry about that. Thank you very much. Uh, for example, do a crossword puzzle or read a new book. This is a crossword puzzle. Un crucigrama. And number eight, it says, uh, any volunteer to read number eight? Me teacher. Thank you. Juliana. Protect your skin. It's a lot of more studies here and sunscreen. Thank you. Always protect your skin, right? When you go to the beach or you are going to receive sun, use a lot of moisturizer. Moisturizer and sunscreen. Esto es humectante, crema humectante en sunscreen, bloqueador solar. Moisturizer and sunscreen. And number nine, get enough calcium. Your bones need it. Daily foods like yogurt, milk, and cheese have calcium. So calcium is important too for your bones. And take a time out. This is important. Take a time out every day. A break of about 20 minutes. Do something different. For example, get up and walk or sit down and listen to music. So this is important to take a break during our daily life, right? So at least 20 minutes for you to do something different. For example, watch a movie, listen to music, walk, uh, talk with your friends. So do something different in those 20 minutes. Always take a break. And then, these were 10 simple ways to improve your health. Now I have a question for you. Number one, what can we do for challenging our brain? According to the reading. Do puzzle and crossword and read a book, a new book. Excellent. What can we do for challenging our brain? Do a crossword puzzle or read a new book. Do you like reading books? Yes. Yes. No. Okay, Victoria say no. And Elia say yes. And let's see what the next. What does our bones need? Calcium. Calcium, yes. What is good? What is a good exercise to stay healthy? Walking. Walking. Okay, go for a walk. Walking. How much water do you need to drink? Eight. 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 Eight glasses of water. Eight glasses of water. Excellent, eight glasses. What can you do in your time out? Time out means a break. Listening to music. Listen to music. Read the book. Um, read the book. Read a book. Excellent. Exercise too. In which practice say love of lips? Use a seatbelt. Wear a seatbelt. Excellent. Wear a seatbelt. Okay. Thank you very much. Do you have any question about this reading? No. No question. Okay, excellent. Then let's go with the next one. Giving advices. Look at this small conversation. We are going to, to read a lot of advices. Let's see this person say, I want to have a healthy life. Yo quiero tener una vida saludable. So with, here are some advices. Who wants to read them? And it says, eat a healthy diet, eat lots of fruits and vegetables, don't eat fast food, drink lots of water, don't drink too much caffeine or sugary drinks like soda. La siguiente persona dice, I always feel tired and sleepy. Yo siempre me siento cansado y con sueño. So do not go to sleep too late. Go to bed and wake up at the same time every day. Don't eat in bed. Also, don't check your phone from bed. Okay. 
Okay, so don't change your phone from bed. Do you do this? Usan su teléfono cuando ya están en la cama. Don't check your phone from bed. Sometimes. Yes. <laughs> Sometimes, always. And never, teacher. So, um, let, let's see the next. I have another one. I'm depressed. Uh, don't stress too much. Each day, find time to relax. Take a walk. Sit and watch the sunset. Talk with friends and family. Don't spend too much time on social media. If you feel depressed. When she se siente deprimido, estresado, do no stress too much. It's day, find time to relax. Take a walk, sit and watch the sunset. Vea la puesta del sol, talk with friends and family. Don't spend too much time on social media. Uh, this is important, right? Don't spend too much time on social media. It's a good advice. Um, so now that advice is, see a doctor once a year, listen to your doctor, follow up care advices, and don't wait to see a doctor if you feel sick. Don't wait to see a doctor if you feel sick. So now who wants to practice in the first conversation? Practice imperative sentences for giving advices. Who wants to practice? Any volunteer? Me. Me, teacher. Elena Me. and Elias, please. ¿Quién comienza? <laughs> comienza Elias, please. I want to have a healthy life. Eat a healthy diet. Eat lots of fruit and vegetables. Don't eat fast food. Drink lots of water. Don't drink too much coffee or sugar. Drink like soda. Thank you, Elena. Excellent job. Elias, too. Thanks a lot. So let's see. Diet. 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 Okay. Eat a healthy diet. Thank you. Who wants, to, who wants to practice? Say thank you. And who wants to practice in the next small conversation? Me, hey, teacher. Thank you, Claudia and? Me, teacher. Okay, so Veda, can you please start? Okay, I always feel tired and sleep. Do not go to sleep too late. Go to the bed and wake up at the same time every day. Don't eat in bed. Also, don't check your phone from bed. Excellent job. Thank you very much. Let's see in the next one. In the last small conversation, who wants to practice? Any volunteer? Teacher. Anna Yancy teacher. and... Anna. Ana Maria. Ana Maria. Okay, Ana Maria and Ana Yancy. So you can start, Ana Maria. Okay, I can depress. Do not strict the much. It's day. Find time to relax. Take a walk. Sit and watch the sunset. Call with friend and family. Don't spend too much time on social media. Thank you very much. Ana Maria, can you please read the last one, please? Yes, give me a second. Okay. Okay, you can See start. Doctor once, okay. <laughs> See a doctor once a year. Listen to your Doctor, follow her advice. Don't wait to see a doctor if you feel sick. Okay, excellent. So see a doctor once a year. Listen to your doctor, follow her advice. Don't wait to see a doctor if you feel sick. So sunset is la puesta del sol. Sunrise is la salida del sol. So let's see. Do you have any question about tonight class? Imperative sentences for giving advices. Questions? 
No, teacher. No, teacher. Okay. No question. No, then I want to say thank you very much. And this is the end. Just a second. Okay. So let's practice. Let's see. Um, for a headache, can you tell me an advice, please, Yvonne? Headache. No, give me an advice for a headache. You see an imperative sentences. Algo que debo hacer o no debo hacer for a headache. Um, drink, drinks of of pills. Okay, um, drink some pills. Don't 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 watch TV. Don't watch TV. Okay, thank you. So let's see, Claudia. I have a diarrhea. Drink a lot of water. Um. Drink Pepto Bismol. <laughs> Thank you. Maria Luz de Nieto, I have um, a stomachache. I have a stomachache. Um, drink water. Drink water. Um, <laughs> okay. 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 Do you know that? Yes. That remedy, yes. That remedy yes. for stomach Esencia pain. coronada. Ah, ok. Esencia coronada. Y le daban una cosa que sabía a diablos. <laughs> <laughs> ok, so thank you very much uh, for your punctuality, your attention, your participation. You are doing a great job in this virtual session. So remember that if you have a question about the platform exercises, if you have some problems, you can write on the WhatsApp group and we're going to try to solve them or help you, right? Help you. If you have a doubt, don't hesitate. Don't hesitate to write in the WhatsApp group. I am sure that we can help you. So keep working, please, on the platform exercise. That is important. Remember that you have to complete your exercises and evaluation before the last class. Before the last virtualization, the platform must be completed. Debe de estar completa antes de la clase final. So, questions? Do you have a question? No questions. No question. Hello, teacher. So, thank you. Rest a lot. Uh, see you tomorrow. And tomorrow is our last class of the week. Right? It's Thursday. See you tomorrow. Mañana es la última clase de la semana. Don't miss it. No se la pierda. I am going to be waiting for you at 8 o'clock p.m. So, bye-bye. Have a good night. Bye. Bye. Good night. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye-bye.